they had Dread there also isn't a playable card. Sheesh. All right. Regression. Transform each enemy creature into a random creature with one less mana cost. Dread Touch 2 instead. Two mana. If you kill a creature and you don't kill anything from the board, you just make them slightly less strong. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that one. I don't know if that makes the cut. Is it here? Endless Bloom. While this is in your void, after friendly creature is destroyed, summon this and deal three damage to your god. Is a three mana, three, three wild that has infinite bring backery. Um, as long as it's not obliterated and your opponent is killing your creatures, you will continue to get value to trade out the board. Seems solid. Three mana, Crawling Madness. Summon three one on ants. They attack random enemy creatures. Dread Touch first. Give them afterlife. Summon a 1-1 one, one ant for blitz. So, you have three little underbrush boars. They go hit hidden creatures, and then they they summon, if you're willing to sacrifice a creature on the board, like a badger. First, give them afterlife. Summon a 1-1 one, one ant for blitz. So, seems pretty solid. Um, but let's look at a card that combos with it. Here, we'll look at Hunter's Guide really quick. Current PS, what is up? After, okay, let's, so we're, we're skipping just so we can see a synergy. After a friendly wild is summoned from anywhere other than your hand, give it blitz and plus one strength. So let's say we play Hunter's Guide and then we yoink out Crawling Madness. The 1-1 one, one ants become 2-1 ants because we're not summoning them. They're coming from a spell and then they're coming from afterlife. So they have one again. Do ants have the H? I don't think so. Uh, it doesn't say they have the H. And then another card that may synergize with it as well. Deal two damage to an enemy creature. If it survives, summon two 1-1 one, one ants with Blitz. This will give them extra attack. This also gives you God Power. This makes your Badger a 2-2 two -two with Blitz. As long as it's not coming from your hand and it is wild, it's wild. That was funny. Funny. As a here is a board wipe. Yeah, but you are taking three damage every time. But yeah, it is really good. Uh, that which feeds us. Four mana, two, two, blitz, twin strike, dread touch, gain the sacrifice creature's strength and health, then shuffle a copy of this into your deck. So it comes down with blitz and twin strike. Let's say, worst case, you play badger. On five, you pip this out. You get a three, four with twin strike and blitz that then reshuffles to be played again and eat something else but like a better situation you hang on to your marsh walker and you play this as a a three six with twin strike and blitz um that will then shuffle a three six that can then eat something else pretty solid uh i think staff of aberration aberration four mana three two blitz after you attack transform the random highest mana cost friendly wild into a random creature that costs two mana or more Hmm. Dread Touch Sacrifice is from your hand to the board. Damn, easy, easy. It is from the board. You kill a creature you have on the board. So, ah, uh, you you make your wild creatures cost two more, but it's a random creature. And there are some creatures... Like, it's high variance, and there's a lot of synergy with just having a wild tribe. So, I don't know. Um, although, a 3-2 Relic with Blitz, that does have upside. Pretty solid. We went over Raid Swarm... Hunter's Guide, Natural Selection, two mana, choose two creatures. They swap strength and health with each other. So this can be a friendly, choose two creatures. They swap strength and health with each other. So if I play a Badger and my opponent plays Polyhymnia, I swap, they swap strength and health with each other. I mean, just in general, like, underbrush bore on anything, and you have, like, a monster. Relic is busted. Mm. So it doesn't transform it into a wild creature. It's a random creature. It transforms a friendly wild into a random creature. So, like, think of how many bad creatures there are in the game, and it can be transformed into that. Wayward Hut. One mana. Can't attack. After a friendly wild is summoned, add a mutation to your hand. I sure hope mutations aren't really good because this has no limit to the amount of mutations that can be summoned. It is a 1 mana 2 3 
which is hard to deal with, that is also an infinite value generator. You know, it's not like at the end of each turn. It is just, it's a, uh, we'll see. Horned Howler, three mana, three, two. Wild Wolf. Confused, Blitz, Roar, if your opponent controls more creatures than you, summon a copy of this. So if I have an empty board, and you have two creatures, I play this, I have two creatures. Bladefly gives three mutations, that would be correct, yeah. And so we'll see what a mutation does in just a second. Due to the binds at the end of your turn, add a mutation to your hand, three mana, three, three. So I'm not a huge fan of the infinite value forever. Last set, there was a dragon, which is a 3-mana three 3-3, three, three, that also gave a shard at the end of your turn, and then it wound up getting nerfed to roll or get a shard, because infinite value is just, it becomes a frontline creature that you have to kill, like you have to deal with it, or it's just going to be too much value. <clears throat> 3 mana, 2, 5, regen 1, dread touch, gain plus 2 strength, and attack all enemy creatures. Of all these, thank you for the raid. I appreciate it. I hope you have a, a really good stream, um, and I hope you're doing well. So let's say that has regen, and it's a 3 mana, 2, 5. If I can eat the creature, so let's say, I don't know, a card that sold a lot of recently, um, say a chicken, right? Say you play Unexpected Chicken on one, and you get a 1 mana, 1, 1, and you get a 0 mana, a 1 mana, 0, 3 with burn. doesn't matter. You eat eat that. Right, your opponent goes too wide to try and contest the board. This Dread Deer will attack both creatures, hatch your egg, and then heal itself. And it will be a 3 mana 4 5 with a wild tag, just waiting for wildfire. Or I even like you can combo this with Dagon. Like you can, it has a regen, it is 3 mana, whatever. Meyer Walker, Dread Touched, gain plus two strength and one regen. So the condition that you kill a friend, you are getting a 3-4 Marsh Walker, right? Which is why I think those chickens sold uh, when they did, which is why I also was like, let's follow those wallets and see who bought them because that's us. Um, Sanctuary Steed, one mana, two, one. Wild Aswell, afterlife, get protected to the strongest friendly creature. There is no tribe. 1 mana 2 1 reasonable stat line with the afterlife of protecting a friend. Pretty solid. 1 mana, double wild, path of nature, spell, path of. Alright, double wild from your deck and draw it, dread touch, add the strength and health of the sacrificed creature to the drawn wild. So, like, for instance, you can use this on. on this, right? And then you play this bigger than you would have played it, and you can kind of get it snowballing faster. Or you can play it on your dread deer, right? You can. Delve your Dread Deer, maybe value trade with a creature, eat that creature, and so your Dread Deer comes out even bigger. Anyway, doesn't matter. It, it can be comboed well. I don't know how great it is. We'll see how it goes in the wild. Hollow Form. It's 8 mana. That's a lot. So I think it's probably... Right? That's out of, like, Wild Nature's... Give all friendly creatures on board and in hand, plus 5, plus 5, Blitz, Can't Sleep, and Soulless. Right, but like it's eight mana, right? So like it's probably fine. It's eight mana. There isn't like a thing that's gonna make this super consistent and play before seven or six mana. Mutation, what's that? Uh transform spells in your hand other than mutations into random nature spells with mana cost of one more than their base mana cost. So for instance, if you have wildfire and you play a mutation, it will make Wildfire transform into a spell that costs one more, but it will keep the mana cost of Wildfire. And it's all other spells and mutations. So, the going wide with Wild early. And it seems like a lot of RNG, but do you know what the only 8 mana spell in the game is in nature? It's Hollow Form. So, if you can get 4 mutations, and you have a 4 mana spell in hand, it will 100% of the time transform into hollow form, which gives 
all friendly creatures on board and in hand plus five plus five blitz can't sleep in soulless so for instance this will not be a two one it will be a seven six with blitz can't sleep in soulless so if you play it on six and a half and it takes a bit longer to get it and your opponent plays a demogorgon plus five plus five blitz can't sleep in solace and so like let's look at another dread deer huh so this would attack every creature on the board and then have blitz can't sleep in solace so instead of being a a, a two five it would be a seven five and if you were to eat a creature like say you used your badger god power and then you ate that badger this would be a nine five that attacked every creature on the board had one regen and then gained blitz can't sleep in solace and so you know what is that this ant has a wild tribe so you're telling me i didn't even mean to scroll down there so you're telling me i can crawling madness literally on curve after i play this wayward hut which is one mana and it's going to give me three ants that's three mutations but if i dread touch a badger it's going to give me six what that can't be right that would be crazy because then the next turn you would just start yoinking them and any spell in your hand would turn into the only eight mana cost spell in the game which is hollow form but i don't know right i don't know I don't, and i don't have opinions really i think i have to go p 9 12 9 12 9 10 9 why would it be 9 12 5 plus 5 would be 10 and then plus 2 attack 5 that's 7 plus 5 that's the 2 plus 7 and then plus 2 i don't know where the 12 is from but maybe maybe if we add 5 to 5 and then we add two more from nowhere we'll get 12 yeah that makes sense this doesn't gain the badgers that's this card gain the sacrifice creature strength and health yeah that that's that that's that that's that which feeds us i'm talking about dread deer we Re regen three mana one mana less four five stat line my bad it's okay just you know just don't freaking let it happen again no, i'm kidding it doesn't matter <clears throat> i love being right <laughs> just kidding so leyline feeder four mana three five front line solid stat line has a wild tribe four mana front this is like guild enforcer for one less mana and no armor there's probably nothing better than that uh dread touch add x mutations to your hand where x is the mana cost of the sacrificed creature hmm. so that seems like a really reliable consistent way to get more mutations to mutate your things that seems pretty good and you can main deck it which is also interesting writhing wolf pack six mana one six roll or destroy all other creatures after life the owner summons base copies of the creatures destroyed by this creature's roar six mana one six doesn't do well with ward interesting two mana two two that's not a good stat line ha. infested satyr wild afterlife summon a one one ant with blitz if it's your turn summon another so there are a lot of low cost wilds that will give you more low cost wilds hmm ant one mana one one blitz wild three mana lash out you four damage to a random enemy creature repeat once if you have fewer creatures than your opponent wow that got a lot better okay so you get two canopy barrages for the price of one and a half as long as your opponent has more creatures than you seems pretty good like you can lightning strike for six strongest damage or you can just like have a slightly more versatile Mm. you bet people be mad i don't think so people are really